Today I'm going to be sharing 15 ways you can make your home smell good. So let's get right into it. The first way you can make your home smell amazing is by roasting coffee beans in the oven at 400 degrees for 10 minutes. You only need a handful of beans and you can totally use those inexpensive coffee beans for this. After they've cooked in the oven, open the oven door for a bit and smell that wonderful coffee aroma. And if you're not a fan of coffee, that brings us to using tea bags to help make your room smell fresh. Put a tea bag in shoes to help get rid of odor. I know my kids would benefit from this one. Another way to use tea bags is to put a few used tea bags in the back of your fridge. They will help absorb odors from the refrigerator. Make sure you replace the tea bags every few days to keep it smelling fresh in there. You could also do this with vanilla in your fridge. Make a DIY room spray. There are so many combinations of essential oils you could use for this. My favorite is just water and lavender or maybe adding some cedar wood in there as well. I love to spray this on my bed for a good night's sleep. You could also swap out the water for witch hazel, which you can find on Amazon. I love these amber colored glass bottles from Amazon for all of my DIY sprays. I will link those and any other products below for you. If you don't have time to make a DIY version, Mrs. Myers even has a room freshener spray in a variety of scents or the ever popular Febreze spray. I am a huge fan of the Aero Diffuser. It is a little on the pricey side, but you can control the amount of scent that comes out and these last a long time. These bigger ones can fill a huge room with no problem and I love the smaller ones for an office or a bedroom. Era also has an app where you can quickly check out how much scent you have left. You can also set a schedule on the app so the scent only comes on at a certain time of day, which is so nice because then you're not wasting any of that wonderful smell. If the Aero Diffuser is a bit too pricey for you, try the Glade or Febreze plug-in system. I just recently got this for my upstairs hallway and at the bottom of our stairs going down into the basement where my kids like to play. These are great for a smaller space like a bathroom or a mudroom. They are inexpensive and the scent is pretty strong for the first few weeks and then gets less over time. When I have gone into a model home, I immediately realize how amazing it smells and they usually have something like this all over the home in any room possible. If you're more cautious about what scents come into your home, I am a big fan of essential oils. My favorite brand is Young Living and if you'd like to check that out, I do have a link below. We have used Thieves from Young Living on my kids' feet during the winter months and it's helped us to stay fairly healthy over the past few years. My favorites to diffuse are orange for a nice citrus scent, cinnamon is wonderful in the fall, and lavender and cedar wood combined are lovely together, and they even have a Christmas spirit scent. Have you ever simmered a scent on your stove? It's called Stove Top Potpourri. There are many combinations you can do, but my favorite scent is orange slices with cinnamon sticks and sometimes adding clover or cranberries as well. You simply put these in a large pot on your stove with some water and simmer on low for a few hours. You could even make simmer pot sets to give as gifts for friends or neighbors. I love doing the simmer pot in the winter time when I'm home more during the day. Of course, I have to include candles because they are just amazing. You can swap out different scents for the seasons of the year. I love having one on in my kitchen while I'm doing the dishes or in my office while I'm working. The flame also makes a space so cozy. If you're not into floral or fruity scents, try a woodsy scent or even one like this coffee candle. Have you ever heard of a charcoal air purifying bag? You can get a 12 pack for relatively cheap on Amazon. The idea is that the charcoal naturally absorbs any odors in that space. 
They also don't have a scent, so it's healthy for babies or pets in your home. You could put these in a shoe cabinet, in a musty basement, or even your dresser drawer. You can place more than one bag in an area if it needs it. I will say the only downside to these charcoal bags is that you have to reactivate the charcoal, and you do that by putting it out in the sunlight for two hours every month. Sometimes I would forget to do this or I couldn't keep up because of life. Another simmered scent idea is to use leftover lemon rinds after you've used them for cooking or after they've been in your water. Of course, you can play around with the lemon and add additional items as well, such as imitation almond extract or lemon with basil or even lemon with mint. Here's an easy hack if you're cleaning out your kitchen sink and want a nice smell around your kitchen, add a few drops of lemon essential oil down the disposal and turn it on for a few seconds. That lemon scent will fill the air and also help to make your disposal smell better. Amazon has some budget-friendly essential oil options, which I know we could all use right now, especially if you're just going to throw them down the drain. Did you get that? <laughs> Another way to make your bathroom smell amazing is by hanging some eucalyptus on your shower head. The warm steam from your shower will release the scent and your bathroom will smell like a spa. Fresh eucalyptus lasts up to three weeks and you can find this at your local Walmart, Trader Joe's, Florist, or even Amazon has it. What does Amazon not have? Something I've been doing for a long time is making my house smell good when I vacuum. You can place a few drops of an essential oil onto a cotton ball and place it in the canister of your vacuum. One of my favorite scents to do this with is Purification from Young Living, but lavender and lemon would be great too. When the canister is full and I'm emptying it, I usually just replace the cotton ball at this point. If you keep some cotton balls and the essential oils by your vacuum, it helps you to remember to add it back next time. You can add essential oils to your air filter and furnace filter. Just add about 15 to 20 drops and pop the filter back in. It will fill your home with the scent of your choice. Lavender and cedarwood are great for this because they have stress-reducing properties in them. I switched to wool dryer balls about 10 years ago and I love adding a few drops of an essential oil to a dryer ball when our clothes are in the dryer. They come out smelling so fresh and clean. Usually my go-to is lavender. You could also use this essential oil and wool dryer ball trick and put one in a shoe to get rid of odors overnight. Let me know in the comments below how you like to make your house smell good. I hope these tips were helpful and I will see you back here soon.